Hey everybody, welcome back to Montreal Connected. Now Eugenie Bouchard's resume keeps on growing. 2012 Wimbledon Juniors Champion, Australian Open semi-finalist, and now Canada's star at the Fed Cup. It's even more impressive considering she's just shy of 20 years old. Before the competition, Ali got one of the few one-on-one -on -one interviews with Eugenie and filed this report. Bouchard's play at the Australian Open was one of the highlights of the tournament. And here at home, her semi-final match was watched by close to 4.5 million Canadians. Her performance moved her up to 19th in the world rankings and quickly made her a household name in Canada. Especially since I'm back in Montreal, I get recognized a lot and um, it's just, it's nice to hear, you know, comments from people who just say good luck and that they're proud of me and things like that. And so that's really nice. And, uh, but, you know, I still need to focus on my tennis and I'm still a long way from where I want to be. Bouchard's journey to center court started 14 years ago when she was just five years old. I started playing, you know, maybe once a week, um, some groups here and there, and then, you know, more regularly every day, started missing school, leaving early at school to, to go play and, and travel around the world. And I think um, that's one of my favorite parts is, is being able to travel to, to play tennis. You know, it's, uh, it's so cool that I can call that my job. You know, I feel lucky to visit such amazing cities. So I think it's just gotten more intense as the years have gone on, you know, more traveling, more intense practice and things like that, but I love it. Her success has come at a cost, though. Jeannie has had to make sacrifices throughout her childhood, but she says it's all part of the game. The main thing that I, I remember is just um, just the hours and hours on the practice court and just missing kind of a normal life. Um, definitely, you know, much smaller social life than most kids and then teenagers and things like that. Um, and, and just being away from my family as well. I went to go train in Florida for three years, so I was away from, from home for a little bit. But, um, you know, it's all been worth it, and I think I've been able to maintain a little bit of a normal life when I don't play, so I think that's important. On occasion, Bouchard gets to take a rare break, but her thoughts are never far from a tennis court. I just like to be a normal teenager. I like when um, I'm visiting my family, I like to just hang out with them as much as possible. I have three siblings, so we're, we're a lot. And besides that, go to the mall, go to the movies with my friends. When I'm in Florida or, you know, a nice place, I love going to the beach. We don't have that in Canada, but I love beaches. So, you know, really just, just normal things um, to get my mind off tennis a little bit. But I always, you know, miss it, so I'm always, I'm always back on the court. Bouchard is primarily a singles player, but her ideal doubles partner would be fellow Canadian Milos Raonic. Well, I've asked him and he's turned me down, so yes, I got rejected, so you'll have to ask him. I can't believe it. <laughs> Next time, I ask him. <laughs> well, maybe we can ask Justin Bieber if he'll be your kind of partner. That'll Does he work. play tennis? I don't oh. think so. <laughs> I'll teach him, though. I'll gladly give him lessons. I respect him, you know, he came from being a, from a small town boy to, you know, the most popular teenager on the planet, and he has talent, and I respect him, and he'll, he'll mature. Hopefully he'll <laughs> turn around. Were you? What happened when he tweeted you back? Were you, you, were you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I was very excited. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't know whether I should respond or not, or play it cool, you know, because I kind of said I, you know, I just told the world that I would go on a date with him. But um, you know, it's all in good fun, and I think, um, I think he's he's just cool. Well, Jeannie Bouchard knows she's got to take some chances, and she's got to move in, step in play a little more aggressive than she's normally used to. I'd say the most important thing is to, to dream big, to have dreams. That's, you know, since I've been young, I've, I've dreamt about playing Grand Slams and winning Grand Slams. So I think just dream big and then work really hard to try to achieve them because, you know, achieving your goals is probably the best feeling ever.